and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julia Me Nail Crafts. So it's time for Dawn and Julia Create. Woohoo! And Dawn has set the challenge, which was to do a tag in 10 minutes, but I was allowed to choose what went on it. And I've gone for Curious Wonders papers, a little bit of gesso, two inks of your choice, and black pen. So that is what we are doing. Um, I am actually filming this in my b, &B because I've just been at the Hachanda Studios today and as always I'm a last minute Annie and as much as I intend to record this before I went away it didn't quite happen so we're doing it now so I have got the what they call the Hachanda hangover you know it's like it's so much adrenaline that you yeah I'm just in cloud cuckoo land right now so uh, who knows what could happen um, so we have the timer, let's set that to 10 minutes and press start and we will see what could possibly, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I've actually got three tags, I've used my Be Crafty tag die, I'll link to that in the description box below and I've cut it out three times just out of scrap card, great way to use up your scrap card by the way. I'm going to gradually go through all my card and just do, make these tags because it's awesome. Um, and it makes that, it's like, it's like you're using MDF but without the cost of getting an MDF tag. So I'm all for that. So I'm just, this is one of my favourite papers. I have no plan. And, oh sorry, I'm not used to filming on my iPad like this. I've normally got a fancy camera set up. So if I keep bashing it and if I'm not quite in shot, See, I'm used to being able to see what I'm doing. I kind of feel like I'm filming blind here. But <laughs> to be honest, it'll be no worse than the Daily Box City. <laughs> the production team going, can you try and keep the stuff on the X, please? You know, so that they can follow it with their cameras. And uh, I was like, yeah, absolutely, I'll try and do that. And then as soon as you start crafting, I forgot. That's the adrenaline and the nerves. I also didn't look in the camera once. So plenty of things to be working on for next time. Right, so that's that there, and I'm going to add some other papers just for a little bit of contrast. And we can stick some of that down like so. Does that look okay? What do we think? Yeah, let's go for that. No idea what the time is. I would check my phone, but I'm afraid that like I would press it and something would go wrong. So we're just gonna go. We're just going to go with it. Right, let's chop this down. Yeah. So, what have you all been up to? I feel like I've no pattern. <laughs> Mind you, I'm saying it's the Hachanda, the, the Hachanda hangover. I'm not sure if it's that or the two glasses of wine I've had this afternoon to recover from the Hachanda. <laughs> Hachanda. Hachanda. Right, let's stick some of these on. So these are circles out of the um, the Chester, the paper pad with the Chester on it. See, I'm going to waste circles if I do like that. So let's put one there and then we will chop this off. Now, I put gesso on the list and I've pulled it out and it's sat on the floor. So I'm just going to ask my husband who's in the room if he can just pick up that piece of the gesso that's lying right in the middle of the floor and if there's a paintbrush there as well which will be in one of those tubs that would be mostly helpful <coughs> Can I do that? Hmm, let me see, yeah I think that works there, who knows Who knows, and this is the point of doing these sort of timed challenges it stops you from overthinking because you don't have time to faff about, you just have to stick it down and hope for the best. And sometimes that's where our best pieces of artwork come from. So, I'm just wondering whether I want to check the time. Oh, I've got six minutes and 40. That's better than I thought, to be honest. Right, I'm using my Pretty Gets Gritty gesso. I quite like the 13 Arts one that Dawn bought me. But they don't sell that on the telly box. Although I do like Lynette's one as well. And I most likely will be stocking the next one when I have a lovely website. Right, so I'm just doing this because it ties all, obviously we've stuck three random papers together. And that's cool. But then you kind of want it to look like it was meant to be. So just slapping a bit of gesso between the edges of things just helps to connect it a little bit. So I'm now going to get some of these diamondy things. And we've got Chester. Yeah, I 
think I'm going to have to stick Chester down first. Woo! Should have done this. It would have made my demo much quicker on the telly box. I think I chose really complicated stuff. Lesson learnt for next thing. Sorry, I don't mean to be talking about the telly box so much, but you know, it's what's in my brain right now. And the fact I have the ability to craft anything, I'm quite impressed. I really am quite impressed with myself. Right, let's have, I'll just have a little, a little corner of that. And stick that down. Also forgot to bring 3D foam with me, so this is going to be quite a flat tag. Right. Pop that in there. Still in shop, just about. Right, I've got some love hearts from the love heart paper. Oh, I like that there. Let's go for that. That's kind of cool. Right, so I'll pop that there and I'm going to pop another one underneath it like so. Because I can. And another one here. So that we've got three. Hmm. Right. And let's see, we've got some lots of flowers. Why not? Let's stick it all on. Mm, that's looking. I think I'm just going to keep it at the top actually because it's beginning to look a bit heavy. So I'm going to stick that on there. Oops. Oops. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. So I'll pop that there. And then this one's got a bit of a straight edge anyway. So that's sort of naturally found its home over here. Just gonna, I want to tuck that under the heart though. So pull that like so okay and yeah I think that's probably me I am just going to oh never put ink let's get some ink on this so I'll pull my blending mat out how much time have I got oh three minutes 44 that's loads could do a wee bit of a highland fling for you if I've got that much time <laughs> so I'm gonna get a bit of let's get a bit of pink in I'm going quite heavy handed because I seem to have colours left over on my brush that I don't want in so I'm making sure that I'm quite heavy handed because that's um, just making sure that I'm getting the colour that I want. So cool, that's brought it together quite a bit hasn't it? Right so we've done, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to do there. <laughs> right let's get squiggly doodly line. I really am liking the weight of this tag. It is fabulous. So I would highly recommend that. Cut three tags and glue them together. And you really have quite a, a substantial substrate to be working on then. Which is quite good because you feel like it could take all your mediums. Not that we've played with mediums on this today. But if you did want to start going on there with like gels and goodness knows what else and Texture paste, it would work. I'm just trying to move my blending mat off. I'm trying to make sure that I'm sort of keeping this in frame. I said it's quite an unusual setup for me. Right, let's see. That's it, I'm not crazy. I feel like I've been talking a load of gibberish today and that I sound crazy. So I think this is a perfect sentence. So I'm not crazy. My reality. It's just different there, so let's chop that into little bits and pop that going down the tag, and then I would say we were done. Oops. If I'm behind with the time, I'm blaming the glue. Right, I'm not crazy. Let's just squint. Oh, honestly. There we go. So. Please do pop over to Dawn's channel and see what she has made because she will have knocked this cha uh, challenge out of the park. She always does. And I knew that once I gave her timed, a time challenge, she would end up wanting to do it all the time. I knew it. I knew that although it was a cruel challenge, she would end up loving it. And so then it wouldn't end up. I still think I can get away with crying over the green because my main challenges haven't been too mean. <laughs> right. So I've done that and I have one minute. And one second to go, which is awesome sauce. So look, I'll just show you that to prove it. Look, 
still got 50, 54 seconds to go. So I'm just going to pause that. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm sorry it's not quite my usual setup, you know, but it's the best I could do for today. So anyway, thank you so much. Please do pop over to Dawn's channel, see what she has done. We will see you again in a fortnight with the next Dawn and Julia crate. Um, and I'll be back again with another video very, very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.